I didn't realize that the romantic partner that you had on your on-screen relationship with the character Ryan Atwood with Marissa, you being 17 at the time, I didn't realize he was 25. And so like, again, as a 17 year old playing across a 25 year old, like that's a pretty big age gap. How did you feel about that? Like romantic on-screen relationship? Yeah, it wasn't just on screen either. I mean, it was kind of complicated for me because like I said like I went into that like a virgin like a kid like really feeling like I needed to grow up quickly to portray like you know acting with people older than me was a bit like oh wow like they know what they're doing and like there's gonna be like relationships on this show and you're gonna need to like play that part and I didn't feel really ready for that because I was always like a really late bloomer in school and Mm -hmm. I hadn't really dated and I had, yeah, I just had like no idea what I was doing really. So I felt like I needed to catch up, I think a lot of the time. So you had a relationship with your castmate? Yeah, I mean, that was my first, like I I had no idea like what I was doing, you know? And I think that kind of set things off on the wrong foot too, because it was like, you know, people hook up on these shows and whatever, and like these things happen, but it was, um, it, we threw ourselves all into it very fast. And like, then, you know, when you break up and like things don't work and they see you dating other people and you know, like notoriously there was a lot of like interdating on that show and different people, um, getting together. But I, yeah, it was, um, it definitely was tricky that it happened like right out of the gate and that like, I felt overwhelmed and not ready for any of that. And kind of like, you know, they were also like, like, I remember they were like, Misha's disappeared with Ben and like, she's only 17 and a half, 18, like, and the producers like went to my parents and were like, you know, it was like a very, it was kind of a whole ordeal. And so like, that's in the very beginning of the show before we're even like halfway through a season. So there was a lot going on there. That show, uh, it just so much happened in three seasons. It really feels like it was over the course of like, seven years or something but it wasn't it was like all crammed into this tiny little space I didn't understand how much and I'm not saying this happened in your case but like I didn't understand how much directors like are really like promoting yes like hang out together and be together like it works for chemistry but was that your case where they supported it yeah I mean it kind of felt like a double-edged sword because like you know exactly what you said they're like oh we want it to seem like you guys are all friends and that you have chemistry and we need this to really work and make it look like you guys have this chemistry and then you sort of get punished for it on the flip side and they're like oh but not so much that it like affects our production or like what's going on here and there's nothing you can really do about that because it's too late like and you know I feel like when I I was that young so like in first relationships like you just kind of know what you don't want you don't know what you do want and so you kind of like panic and and try to like yeah so it was it was definitely a tricky balance to strike how did you emotionally and mentally handle a dynamic where you still have to see someone every day and like be cordial but well, I mean, yeah, we just had to like suck it up and get on with it. And there was, but there was a lot of like jabs behind the scenes and off camera and kind of like, you know, um, yeah, I felt, I felt like that kind of ostracized me as well because like, you know, there was a marked difference in like, um, maturity level there. And so like it, it was, um, yeah, I don't know what to say about it. We got through it. A lot of jokes, a lot of like, you know, I really loved our crew and I did feel that they were really there for us and that it was like a family and that part was positive. And like, I remember Rachel was saying to me recently, like she looks back at the scene where we're all playing like chicken in the pool and stuff. And it's like, those were genuinely happy moments where we could forget about like all the pressure that was on us. And like, and it was really hard because you know, you would be out getting photographed with different people. And like, I did start dating. And then, you know, you try not to bring that on set when people are, you know, you just try to let it go at the door and kind of get on with it and keep working. Did you end the relationship? Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I drew, I think, you know, like one of those things you're so young and you realize like, I'm not ready for this. Like, I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, it's overwhelming. Yeah, overwhelming and just like 
too close to home. Mm-hmm. Like you can't, it, that, it would be a very, very tricky thing to keep going on set. And I think, you know, Adam and Rachel, like we all kind of experienced mm-hmm that in yeah. some form or another but again I just felt like not mature enough like younger than them in that sense I had not dated before and I was not aware of and I think he was like really angry with me to begin with and like kind of like and I felt the punishment of that <laughs> like I felt that from the producers as well that they were not um like happy about that but like that's where the like there was such great chemistry between the characters and I think like people did fall in love with them because there was like genuine friendship and love there on some level you know Hi daddy gang, thank you so much for watching this video. Keep in mind, that was just a little clip from the episode. If you wanna watch the entire full video episode, it is linked below. It's the first thing in the description. Go watch it, it's a great episode. Love you all, I will see you next Wednesday.